key highlights from UAE's cabinet meeting. So on Monday, the UAE government met, chaired by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai. Now, key updates from the major meeting include quality education evaluation, which means there's going to be more quality monitoring for education and target setting for all levels and all types of education in the country. So the ministry also approved the updated UAE national energy strategy, which aims to triple the contribution of renewable energy over the next seven years and invest 150 um, dirhams. To, sorry, 150 to 200 billion dirhams during the same period to meet the country's growing demand for energy. In the same meeting, the cabinet also approved the national hydrogen strategy, which has recently emerged as one of the most important types of clean energy. They also approved the national EV electric vehicles policy, which aims to build a national network of electric vehicle chargers. organizing the market of electric vehicles, promoting associated industries to ensure lower emissions, lower energy consumption, and maintain the quality of roads for EV users. Exactly. And the ministry also adopted the first national preliminary approval for autonomous vehicles in the UAE for We Ride Company. The company will begin testing all types of autonomous vehicles in the country, reflecting a change in the country's future mobility patterns. Finally, strategies for the Financial Stability Council were approved, along with amendments to the law on combating human trafficking. Now, excuse me, if you want to go more in depth into any of those strategies, please check to buy media office where they've listed them all in greater detail. Um, some of the key ones there, of course, renewable energy strategy they're going bigger than expected previously investing a further 150 to 200 billion into the strategy for new renewable energies and that of course comes ahead of cop 28 and we can expect more key announcements from there uh, some of the ones that i think is going to hit closer to home more evs on the road autonomous vehicle is getting a key major key sign of approval from the government and of course renewable energy resources and just Um, making sure we are more reliant on that than like uh, energy resources that we're using right now. So uh, these are like great updates. Obviously, like for entrepreneurs and stuff, it's just like a trail. You see where the UAE is going and it's like you kind of adapt your ideas to it accordingly. So you can uh, change your business strategies or you can uh, basically just, you know, come up with innovations that match uh, these new highlights and these new strategies that the UAE has laid out. So true. And I love, um, just on a personal level, how the UAE government nearly runs like a business and they're so open and transparent. Yeah. So it's like how any business will have a planning strategy meeting in advance of the next quarter. It's the same. And you th- might think the UAE is going to have a chill summer. Absolutely not. Like, look what they're putting in place across so many sectors. They're looking at education. They're looking at renewable energy. And they're looking at roads on the st- uh, cars on the roads. Um, and as you said, it's a great idea for us to roadmap our for, uh, planning strategies because also uh, one of the ones that we didn't mention is they've also um, created a new investment mm. uh, council. So we know what they're going to be investing in. Um, and that's all to come. And like I said, if you'd like further details on any of those specifics, check to buy media office. And like Casey said, all of these uh, points basically go hand in hand, right? Like uh, renewable energy and then ele- electric vehicles. Like it's all just like it p- just plays in together. So it's just great to see how these concepts, like how they strategize basically. And it helps, it just helps you with your strategizing as well. It gives you a blueprint. It's all ahead of COP28 and we'll see a lot more key updates coming up from there.